Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. As always, it is Nick here, back to your daily crypto news and analysis. And today we are going to be talking about Ripple and XRP as well as the vast majority of crypto and finance. And with that being said, I hope that you are all having a beautiful day or a beautiful night if you guys are out there in the world. So I put out a post regarding the entire market uh, just the other day and I said you could just feel all-time highs coming. Majority of the space has given up on so many altcoins like XRP. XRP, and I really think that this is the year they get shocked by all time highs. And the reason why, right, is because one, the entire space is starting to erupt a bit. Uh, we have a lot of focus on the ETF discussions with Bitcoin and where Bitcoin can go. The higher Bitcoin goes, the more bullish altcoins become. But regardless, right? Everyone has lost focus on XRP and a lot of altcoins in this space simply because they haven't been performing to their best interest. And it's because, listen, when we go back to 2021, XRP got hit with an unexpected black swan event, the SEC, right? December 2020, right before altcoins took off, boom, lawsuit. Now, since then, the entire sentiment around XRP, even back in the bull run, has been garbage. Everyone is frustrated. They've given up. XRP is never hitting an all-time high again. Ripple's dumping the tokens. Ripple is, you know, centralizing XRP. This, that, whatever. There's so many excuses going around on why XRP won't hit all-time highs. But what about the reasons why XRP will hit all-time highs? Let's talk about it. So first and foremost, let's address this post by Crypto Insight UK. He put out a post saying, XRP holders, it is time for judgment. Historically, this is where XRP has started to go bananas. As Bitcoin breaks all-time highs, XRP has sent it. In 2020, we had the SEC lawsuit come in. Was this a black swan? Potentially. It was perfectly timed, it seems. However, now we have much less headwind we have had a longer time to accumulate as well. Will we rhyme with 2017 or 2020? That's the question. As the saying goes, the longer the base, the higher in space. And here we have the overall chart. This is Bitcoin. Um, and then we also have the XRP chart on the bottom end. So as we really watch XRP here, one thing to really mention is the sideways pressure. Guys, XRP has been going sideways since 2017, 2018. This is why a lot of people say, oh, it's not going to make a new all-time high. But realistically speaking, XRP has been suppressed since 2017 and 2018. And a lot of people hate me saying that, but it's the truth. When we really look at what's been happening around XRP in the last couple years, you could clearly see manipulation of the price or just suppression of the price. But I do believe that this is the year where all of that changes. And the, the, the big question is, why? Well, because what's really stopping XRP, right? If there is suppression, the only way to get past that is buying pressure. And how do we get that buying pressure? Well, the market erupts and XRP being in the top position that it is in, which is in the top 10, will see a significant amount of volume going into it that volume should be enough to push it to new all-time highs. But when we look at the overall market, specifically Bitcoin and price action versus XRP, you can see the price is stagnant. Now, everyone will say that's the time to get away from XRP, go into other altcoins. Guys, we were already diversified this entire year. I've been talking about it back in 2023 as well. You want to be diversified going into 2024 because so many altcoins are going to break out. I don't just hold XRP. XRP is not even my top holding. It's not my number one. I've told you guys my top holding multiple times in the past. But XRP is still in my top five holdings. So I am very excited to watch XRP surprise a lot of people, shock the market, and push to new all-time highs. Here we have XRP over here on CoinMarketCap. Trading volume is down a little bit, but for the most part, as we really watch XRP, one thing that's fascinating is the overall chart from 2014 all the way up to about roughly 2017. Okay, that's a three-year difference. From 2018, 
a three-year difference would have been 2021, but we had that bull run canceled. So the question is, do we make up for that this time around? If we do, then my original $5 to $10 target on XRP could be very, very conservative and we could go much higher. But the reason why I'm targeting $5 to $10 is still because I believe that we are going to match the market cap of Ethereum from 2021, which was right around $600 billion almost. And even right now, as we do look at Ethereum, it is sitting at almost $456.2 billion in market cap. That is very significant. Like I said, I personally believe that this could very well be the bull run where XRP does flip Ethereum yet again. It wouldn't be the first time. I do think that XRP could be a showstopper this time around because we don't have the SEC in front of us. It is relisted on almost every single major exchange that delisted it, by the way, back in 2021. A lot of people think that XRP sucks simply because it didn't perform back in 2021. But guys, what do you expect from an asset that was scrutinized by the SEC, mainstream media was talking about it every single day about this lawsuit. It got delisted from every single major platform. It was very hard to buy for most individuals that were, you know, around the world. And as we really look at that, right, the question is, do we make up for it this time around concerning the fact that all of that has been alleviated? XRP is cleared until 2026. What's going to happen? Over here, uh, over here on um, February 15th, I put out a post saying if the XRP momentum can continue, this weekly candle close could be very, very bullish and interesting. Now, this was on February 15th. Now, we didn't get the candle close that I was expecting, but the one thing that I'm watching for, and even when we go back to this chart, is for us to maintain above this trend line. So far, we have been holding above 62 and a half cents. I would love for us to range here and then get that next breakout to about roughly 75 cents and possibly even break over that to target 92 cents, which would be the path to breaking the 2021 highs and then possibly even breaking the all time high. The question is, is it too early right now for XRP? I do think that we could range here for a little bit. In fact, I'm expecting us to range a little bit. And the reason why is because I'm expecting the overall Bitcoin or sorry, XRP uh, dominance chart to kind of range a little bit while Bitcoin takes this next run to the upside. So what I'm expecting on this XRP dominance chart is us to actually range down here. This red zone is the area of opportunity. This should actually even be you know, a green zone because this is where you actually want to be focused on XRP. Because what typically happens next is major moves. Here we have 2021, March into April. That was when XRP topped back in 2021. Here we have back here in February of 2017, right before the moves in March, April, May of 2017, which also led into January of 2018, where the all-time high was breached. This is typically where we want to be watching XRP closely for that big move to the upside. This sell-off, the sell-off pressure on the, on the dominance chart is mainly... Bitcoin and other altcoins taking dominance away from XRP, which takes focus away from XRP. But this downtrend will break eventually. I've talked about this on multiple occasions now. When you have something that goes like this, this shakes people out. They want to get out because they think that it's going to be an endless downtrend. But typically what happens is once we get to that point where it's oversold, everyone's shaken out, we get that big move off of the lows. And that's what we're watching right now on XRP for this XRP dominance chart. Now, could we be wrong in all of this? 100%. But I still believe that XRP is going to have a major move very, very soon. Now, one thing that I did find very interesting was Tranglo. So if, for everyone out there that knows Tranglo, you know that Ripple owns 40% of stake in Tranglo. They put out this post and they were quoting a TradingView.com um, article. And it was XRP to reach USD $1. Dollar. And here's the article over here. Now, this is quoting Dark Defender, Defend Dark over on X. And we have, hi, all. I hope you all had a great weekend. Let's first check our previous pattern and update it. XRP strolling strictly around our Fibonacci level at 64 
and 62 cents. The lines are clear and accurate. Checking the MACD, and even when we look at the RSI indicators, XRP is expected to continue the uptrend as we predict it. And then we also have, we expect it 91, it's like 92 cents to $1 in March as indicated on February 28th. I will update you with the weekly and monthly timeframes too. And here we have the overall chart from him. And uh, we have this basically ABC correction into a one, two, three, four, five. This would be the fifth wave Elliott wave theory. And this could very well be what we are watching for closely on XRP. Now, is this exactly what I'm expecting? Well, if we go back over to my USD chart, like I said, 75 cents will probably give us a little bit of a problem, uh, which kind of it, it's on par with this third and this fourth wave uh, that Dark does have on this chart, because right around this area, we would be expecting a sell off. Right. And this is where we want to watch for that sell off to happen for a little bit more accumulation before another big wave to the upside. Now he actually has this coming back down to about roughly 70 cents, which does make sense because this would be back testing a little bit of a resistance zone. And this is also the area that we kind of back tested back here in February of 2022 uh, before we attempted to break out of that 92 cent zone. But this was when the bear market officially happened. So what we would be expecting here is a back test somewhere around like 70 cents or so. Um, and then we kind of build a little bit and then we get that a big move to the upside breaking over 92 cents continuing to possibly test those 2021 highs or even the all-time high but we are still no matter what we are looking at even on charts we are still waiting patiently for a big move to the upside all coins right now if we look at coin market cap now i'm recording this a little bit earlier in the day so things are most likely going to change in the short term um, but no matter what when we really look at the old coin market it is starting to wake up in a pretty big way uh, we recently watched um, hbar actually move pretty swiftly um, algorand also has been doing very good off of the lows so we are watching xrp closely at this point point. and when we look at the old coin market guys if you are sitting here and you're saying well my altcoins are not moving. XRP is not moving. I'm done with this. Just know that this time, when we look at altcoins and the altcoin market, it is just be. Beginning. This is a great post by Alex Wacy over on X, and we have alt season is brewing, poised to mint fresh millions. This way, low caps turn into market giants in the coming months. Here are eight centralized exchange low cap gems with 10 to 100x potential. I'm bullish on. Now he does outline a lot of those altcoins in here. Um, obviously, obviously his number one pick is uh, Ethereum. But regardless, when we look at the altcoin market, this is what we are watching for. We're watching for this big move to the upside around two and a half trillion to possibly even five trillion dollars for the altcoin market alone think about how crazy that is but my original target was about roughly two and a half trillion so i do like that his is like right around that area um we are watching this closely and even when we look at the phases what phase do you honestly think that we're in do you think that we're in ethereum do you think that we're in large caps or do you still think that we're in bitcoin if we are still in Bitcoin, guys, we have a tremendous journey ahead and we are still watching Bitcoin closely to make a new all time high and continue even higher and possibly even hit over a hundred thousand dollars, which we should be hoping for, especially if we want to have a massive alt season this time around. And like I said, I don't believe that XRP is going to miss out on it at all. Everyone keeps bringing up the lawsuit still, guys, institutional sales from Ripple is the only thing in question here. XRP is cleared. There's no nothing holding xrp back in my opinion this time around so with that being said i look forward to seeing what happens with xrp later on this year i do think that's going to be a very very exciting 2024 and uh, if you guys did enjoy the video definitely leave a like subscribe to notifications on if you guys have more free content you guys are more than welcome to follow me on twitter and join the discord in the description below and with that being said guys it's been nick thanks for watching peace out